why all these boxes behind me. As you can see, there's a lot that's been happening. <laughs> I swear every time I come on this channel, I'm like, yeah, so much is going on. Honestly, like when I tell you that there's a lot going on, there's a lot going on. I am in such a big transition in my life right now. I am finally packing up my stuff and I am leaving my parents' house and moving into my own space by myself. And I am so excited. It's time, you know, I'm 20, how old am I this year? I'm 29, I'm 29 this year, oh my gosh. It was getting to the point where I was just like, so, I'm just so ready, you know, I'm so ready for this journey and this new chapter in my life. So I actually move out in a week. So by the time I post this video, I'll probably be in my place already. I just wanted to share the journey with you. And I also want this to be one that I can remember and look back on and think like, wow, like I did that, you know? So I'm currently packing up at the moment. It's a weekday. I started packing yesterday. I've only got one room to pack, so it shouldn't be so bad, but I'm currently going through that phase where I'm packing all like that random crap that you have. Like, you know, you just carry random crap in your drawers. That is, that is what's going on now, right? It's taking me the longest and I packed all my paperwork and stuff yesterday. I really need to get all this random shit in the boxes. And then the rest of it is just like chunky items like instruments or clothes and furniture. I've got a huge salt lamp up here that I need to take. There, there, there. That's not my DVD. I need to give that back to my niece. So yeah, it is, um, it's overwhelming it's overwhelming because i'm currently right now i am moving but i'm also coming to the end of my graduation with dci um i'm just gonna bring you over here with me actually oh goodness me so dci is um the community that i uh, signed up to it is the coaching community so i am obviously like this close to being certified dharma coach and I'm just so ready for it, you know? But obviously, me being me, like to make things challenging for myself, I decided to move at a time when I'm coming to the end of my graduation. So I'm like, okay, I've got to pack my room up, move out my parents, and study at the same time as well as working full time. <sighs> like, what am I doing to myself? Like, why am I, why do I put myself through this? But you know, I'm riding the wave. I'm riding the wave of life and I'm enjoying it and I'm excited. I'm so excited to be in my own space. I'm so excited to start this new chapter. This is gonna be such a great journey and I can't wait to bring you on the journey. And I'm just ready to be in a space where I can just create, create, create all the time. And I'm just buzzing about it basically. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on packing. And I just thought I would check in with you guys, show you what's good and where we're at and what we're doing with our lives. <laughs> so I've never lived on my own and paid all the bills and all that sort of stuff, but that is what's happening. So it's exciting. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're gonna go through this cupboard here. This is just like literally all the clothes at the top. This down here is like my yoga stuff and my work bag. And then there's like bags and stuff down there. Some filties, look, there's me. Me and my big sister. This is me when I was traveling. Um, yeah, so then this is the rest of the clothes. These are all tracksuit, loungewear. And then this is like all my jeans and then all my flares. This here has been sorted out. Oh God, that breath. And in this bag, I've got all my high heel shoes, which I'm definitely going to take, even though I don't think that I'll be wearing them much. I'm just going to take them just in case. I do like to dress up in like tight dresses with like heels. And if I can get away with not wearing heels, I will. When I do wear them, I always feel really good and in my power and in my feminine energy and sexy feminine energy. <sighs> I don't know why I'm saying all this stuff. Oh, I've got all of this as well to put away. So we've got like scarves on here. We've got a dressing gown. We've got chunky coats there. Why am I so close? So basically we're tackling this in the grand scheme of things. It's actually not that bad. I think I actually need to try some stuff on to make sure that it might fit me or not because I know I've got a couple of pairs of dad jeans in there that are massive on me now. They're like huge around my waist. We're going to go through and we're going to see anyway. So let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, 
So I have managed to empty all my drawers, all the side of the cupboard. This is the only bit that needs doing. So basically I've emptied all of those, but it took me a lot longer than I actually anticipated. I got rid of all the bags under there. Also all my coats as well. But this is what I've got done so far. Let me stand on a bed. Hi. This is all the bags. So that is all my coats, my dressing gowns. That's all my bags, my yoga stuff, all my tops, gym stuff. That bag over there has got stuff in it that I don't want. Two suitcases and one backpack. So what I've done is I've packed clothes for the week. I've got clothes for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for work. Clothes for Thursday, Friday for when I go up there. And I'm coming back as well on the Friday. So I'm basically going to pack that with stuff for the week that I need to use. As you can see behind me, I have got all of that to do, which isn't that much to be fair. And I'm whispering because my mum and dad are in, in bed. Yeah, I've just got to go through that tomorrow and put that in a bag as well, which shouldn't take too long. Once I finish that off, the only thing that will be left in this room is the bedding. I'm absolutely knackered, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no. I just realised like my, uh... <gasps> that is such a classic. My suitcase is broken. <sighs> Oh my god, this is a struggle to even speak because I'm so tired. Um, yeah, I've basically got the majority done. I'm just thinking to myself, like, how am I going to fit some of this stuff in my car? Because my car is like an in between this car. I'm not even joking, it's so small. Um, yeah, probably going to struggle with that. I'm just waffling now. I'm just waffling. I'm just waffling because I'm tired. Going to bed. Going to bed. I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh. Good night, guys. Baby, I'm a fighter, never back it down. Baby, I'm a soldier, stand in my ground. So if you're gonna find me for my heart, all you're gonna get is bread or scars. Baby, I'm a tiger, 27. Baby, I'm a rifle, won't bite you dead. So if you're gonna find me for my heart, all you're gonna get is. They smell, they smell. What can I say any more than desire? More than just a pretty face. So guy, you better walk away. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mum's just helped me bring everything down. My dad's just sat on the sofa the whole time. That's alright. <laughs> Most of the leg Yeah. This is basically all the box stuff that was in my room. Kitchen bits. And then this is like some pillows from my room. I actually have had this. So funny, I've actually had this since I was in year six. I played Shere Khan in a play at school. But I basically just wanted to like clear this out of my room so I kind of knew what else I was working with so I can get the rest of the last bit. So, because I think because this was all in my room, it just felt so overwhelming. I was just thinking, oh my God, where else am I gonna put stuff if I need to put stuff away? It was just really stressing me out. And um, I just said to mum, I was like, I think I need to start bringing stuff downstairs. Today it is Tuesday and then Thursdays, me and mum go, but we're gonna go in the morning. The plan is to leave at 8.30. That's kind of what I've got in my head. Yeah, I'm out of breath. The last bits I've got to do is anything that I've got left food wise. <sighs> Um, and then I've got some bits in the kitchen that I need to wrap up. My TV, lights, my, my salt lamps. So yeah, I feel like we've, ste we've steadily got there. I honestly can say to you, it still doesn't feel real. Like I still don't feel like I'm going. It's really weird, even though everything's here, it still doesn't feel real. I think when I actually get the keys handed to me, that's when it will feel like, oh, okay, this is actually going to be where I'm going to be living now. What? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. It's all going on. Oh, I need to go to bed and I'm so tired and I've got work tomorrow. Full day of work and then a full day of sorting this sort of stuff out in the evening. I didn't realise how much of a stress on the body moving is. I'm really excited. I am really excited. But my body is stressed. I've been aching all over. My calves have felt like I've pulled muscles in both my calves. I pulled a muscle in my back, my lower back. My breasts are really sore, like both my breasts are really sore and I'm not like 
due on for like a week and I don't usually get that and I've been really tired and I woke up this morning with a really banging headache and I don't usually feel like this so I think my body is like sensing this change is happening I can't wait to get in and just get settled and get back into a spiritual practice a morning routine a nighttime routine that will align to me and my energy and my energy only I'm just so excited for that I just it's what my soul needs. That is what my soul needs right now. My soul needs that nourishment, you know, that energetic nourishment. That's what my soul is craving so much. So yes, just leave all that stuff there for now. Wow, that's really dark. Anyway, okay, I'm just getting the last bits put together. I've just put loads of random shit in there. You know when you just got loads of random shit? In your room i'm just chucking it all in here because i'm like right the last little bit is to clean up oh gosh there's some in there as well I leave that we need these and this cute I said i caught that on video hey i said i caught that on video no you never <laughs> um i just that's the got some bits in it and there might be some stuff in the bottom of there and then that's everything out of the drawers you can, then you can just fill the drawers up. These I couldn't decide if I would throw them away, that's why I've kept them there. <laughs> yeah. They're cool though, aren't they? I just, I could not, I could not decide. I was like, should I throw these away? Will mm. I wear them? Well, if you think they're cool, you And then I was like, them. I'll keep them aside mm. because I can make my decision in a few days' time. And yeah. I still don't know whether to well, keep them. Well, whatever you don't, whatever what do you, you think. Yeah, whatever do you, you don't want to take. Just leave it. you don't want to pack or you don't pack, then we'll just when you've gone, we'll just like put everything in a box and then you can just come back whenever and get it whenever, won't we? Yeah, <laughs> what? what happened? It's the I looked off the what happened? <coughs> Sorry, you're not videoing me, are you? No, it's facing me. Mum's got her tits out. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't. Joking, my boobs are so sore. I'm going to get change out of this because I keep saying I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Okay, go on then. It's classic colours. This is just a classic fleck household. You just say you're going to do something and then an hour later you still haven't done it and you're still freaking just faffing. That's just flecks for you. This is just what we do. It's what we do. <laughs> why, why am I holding on to something like this, you know? That's, that's what I question. I think I'm going to keep these glasses because I really like them. I'm not trying to hurt you But I will if I have to I'ma tell you what I do Run away, run away Baby, I'm a fighter, never backing down Baby, I'm a soldier, standing my ground So if you're gonna fight me for my heart Are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby, I'm a tiger, 20 steps ahead Baby, I'm a viper, one bite to death So if you're gonna fight me for my heart Are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby, I'm a fighter, never backing down Baby, I'm a soldier, standing my ground So if you're gonna fight me for my heart Are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby, I'm a tiger, 20 steps ahead Baby, I'm a viper, one bite your dead So if you're gonna fight There was just a huge thunderstorm out in front of my house And I could not resist I just had to go outside I'm soaked Look, I'm actually taking my top off But can you see the wetness? Can you see that? Yeah, it was um very wet. It's really liberating going out in the rain. Literally, the lightning was like cracks of lightning. It was so cool. Look, my hair's soaked now. So I'm gonna have to go to bed with wet hair, but that's fine. I do not care. Going out with a bang, you know, that's how I see it. Going out with a bang. I'm about to get into bed. I'll quickly show you my room, my shorts. So, this is the culprit of the room. This is all nearly empty that's empty this is all my instruments there's one under there my wet top me the rest of the other stuff it is 20 past 11 and i need to get up at six so oh my god my hair it's really hard to get everything done when my mum bless her has been helping me so much tonight she's wrapped so many things up for me um and that was really useful because I've been doing everything myself. So that really helped. Um, but sometimes it's really difficult to get things done that you need to get done. Um, when there's like lots of things and people in the house. 
it is what it is, it's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna get into bed and then get up at six, so I'm gonna be tired, but I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna have to do it. So I'm gonna go and put you on charge, go and take those hangers downstairs, and then come to bed, go to sleep, wake up tomorrow fresh, early, I'm ready to sausage roll, rock and roll, all that good stuff.